Hey guys, Keith Jesse, Prudent RC, back on the bench yet again. Uh, season out here, it's uh, October, getting a little cold, mid-October right now. So uh, we're going down into the micro stuff. Uh, we're big fans of the micros. Obviously, we've got a handful of the SCX 24s. This is just three of them. We have three more up on the shelf. Our dead bolts, obviously, as you know. Is it three or two more? Two more. Two more. Two more dead bolts up on the shelf. Uh, great rigs anyway. Uh, we got this little guy, we chopped the top off through a cage in from the deadbolt. It's not fully done yet. Can you see him? Yeah, he's not fully done yet. We gotta finish getting that in there. It's gonna look pretty cool when it's done. So that's a future project. C10 we got pretty much bone stock. Only thing we've done is add headlights, add headlights to the, uh, the uh, body and the ones in the bumper. And this is a little build uh, we just wrapped up. Some parts we got from RC Four Wheel Drive, a uh, CC hand um, roof rack uh, with the uh, luggage rack kind of style ladder to get up there, tie your stuff down. Comes with the front light bar on it, pretty nice unit. Uh, we have the CC hand snorkel. Uh, you can get all these parts from RC Four Wheel Drive. Uh, we got these eliminated RC in Winnipeg, of course. They're a connection for all of our RC Four Wheel Drive parts. Uh, we've got the rock sliders on there. And we have the inner fender wells, actually. So it's kind of a cool package. It all ties it all together. Um, yeah, this truck's just got the brass wheel weight sitting in it. And uh, it's more set up for trail, this one. It's kind of bounced out evenly and, you know, all the accessories and stuff kind of tooting around trail. So tonight, we're going to work on doing the C10. Um, <coughs> where do I start? So. We got ourselves some brass front steering knuckles for the SDX24. I was going in there. We have the CC hand scale products. Uh, what are they calling this one? The micro scale inner fender set for the Axial SDX24 124 C10 RTR. And then we picked up the Axial one inch BF Goodrich tires because we want to change the rims. We also picked up the 9.5 gram Brass KMC machete wheel weights is why we're changing the wheels to the machetes from the methods so we can actually run these wheel weights. Not sure if they'll fit there. We'll try it, we'll let you know. We also got the side steps from CC Hand for the SCX24 C10. Be careful when you're ordering them, there is a difference between these ones and the ones on the Jeep. The ones on the Jeep are shorter. Oh, yeah, I want these tires again. We picked up a set of the Axial 1-inch Machete KMC wheels. Oh, yeah. And we painted them light gun metal with the Tamiya TS paint for plastic. And then we just brushed the bead ring red. Bead ring? Bead ring. Bead ring. Yeah, I said that right. Yeah. And we brushed the bead ring red. So we're going to uh, slap this all together. You're gonna need, I believe it's a 4.5 millimeter nut driver for the wheels and a 0 .050 for the hardware. If you are changing the servo in the front of these, the screw on the servo is a Torque 6 T6. Little guy. We also got these little seven millimeter brass uh, hubs from Hot Racing. They're gonna go in the truck too. So We're also going to add a little bit of grease to the shock so we can get rid of the twerking. Yeah, yeah. So 
So we'll start with the steering knuckles. You can just disconnect your uh, upper ball joints here, or ball uh, tie rod ends. Ball joints. Really nice. We do have the Emacs ones, yes. You're gonna need to you get your bearing out of there. package of these metal bushings you need to keep not lose those I should keep actually that blade healthy for yeah we'll just change it a little Pay attention to which side which you have the mark clearly on the knuckle right there so left so this is the left side of the truck because flip it back over tiny bushing put it on your screw put a little bit of grease in the bushing it's gonna help it stick in there when you're mucking around putting it all back together Tighten it. You'll need to add a little bit of Loctite to this hole. I just put it on the tip of the screwdriver, clean that off on a rag. Totally just didn't use my pant leg. One more bearing for the outside. Go one side done. There's a very tiny little O ring. I'll put it on the mat. I don't know if you'll see it there. 
that needs to go in the back of the cup. So that needs to go in the back of your dog bone cup. <laughs> Gives it a little bit of a cushion to ride on. Ooh, they're pretty. There we go. Bing it a bob a booty. Very simple, very simple, very simple. Um, let's quickly jump on to these wheels and tires. Now these tires run no foam, but if you do feel them out of the package, they're greasy and gross. These need to go and get washed because their glue will not bite good if they are greasy and gross and then also they just won't work as well. You can soften them up if you scrub them good and hard with some dish soap. So I'm gonna do a scrub with a dish soap, dry them up, bring them back, we'll get them mounted and uh, I'll show you a couple things we're gonna do with those. Okay, so we've got the tires uh, washed up and clean. So if you don't buy these weights, right now would be the opportunity to go out and get yourself some plumbing solder and you could do like a nice one or two little wraps of, so of plumbing solder. Usually one's good enough around the middle to get yourself some fake weight instead of this. It's pretty close in weight actually to these wheels. And I was right, these KMC Machete weights will not fit with these tires. It's a different shape on the inside. These are deeper and these are more flat on the inside, which would accept this face plate a lot better. I'm sure if you, I, I, we could probably throw it in our lathe and buff off the other corner and make it fit, but that sounds like work. So. Tire glue, little nipple, whipple thing. Now there's no foams running in the tires, the trucks are so light, you won't find a foam light enough to make the tire really work. Um, so, no foam. These BFG tires are non-directional, just take a look, always check the tires and make sure they're directional before you glue them. What about the outside cup? <laughs> that only works for rib front tires, Jesse. Go back to our Axial video and read, or our Yeti and read the comments. You'll see what we're talking about. So I took these tires upstairs. I threw them in a mix of a little bit of uh, strong concentrate dish soap. Uh, what did we find under the sink? Some uh, some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, what else did we mix in there, Jesse? Oh, vinegar, some Goo Gone. Just a little bit of chemical abuse to soften the rubber up a little bit is kind of the goal you're going for. Yeah, Lysol. Oh, I think there was some Lysol involved, yeah. Uh, you, we had all... Salt. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever was in the bottom of the sink, you know, things like that, right? So you kind of want to throw a little bit of abuse in the rubber, makes them a lot softer. Like these are the factory tires on here, and you can already see how much softer ours are. Like they just feel a lot softer already, just from a little bit of chemical abuse. Uh, Simple Green works really good. WD-40 actually works really, really good on them, but uh, I was too lazy to go outside and get some, so we just used whatever we had. Dish soap actually works really well. Just soak them in dish soap for a while. Okay, well that is uh, tire building. They look pretty fancy. We're gonna let the uh, glue settle in there. We're gonna pull off these shocks. Try to get a bit of uh, high pressure grease in there, some thick gooey stuff. Pull off the bolt top and bottom. A lot of guys are just popping them off. I don't really like that. Um, Got this conveniently tubed high pressure black grease from Lossy.
be a nice dampening. For sure. Oh, actually, looking really good. What was it coming out? Yes. Oh. Okay, so once you fill it with grease, squish out the excess grease, wipe it off. If you can find something thicker than this, use that. The thicker it is, the harder it will be to come out the hole in the bottom. It's still helping. It's just rough, that poor shaft. It's still better than it was. Pretty sure it'll take the bounce out of the truck, so. I like it. It's gonna old like a, look like old dirty Chevy. Yeah. Old grease pit. Just looking at you and not the other thing. Oh yeah, much better. So rinse and repeat for all four corners on this mod. Okay, as you can see now, we have dampening. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Insert macaroni sounds. Ooh yeah, okay. So, next up is going to be the <coughs> What is it? I can't wait. It's a surprise, young man. The anticipation. CC hand inner fender wells for the SCX 24C10. So, we're going to need to take out the front bumper screw, this screw, this screw, this one, this one, this one, shock, and I think that's it. Cool. Yes. Okay, so that's good there. It leaves a hole in the back so you can get your rear body hinge on there. Looking pretty dope-tastic. We're gonna rinse repeat on the other side. Look at that, eh? Woo-wee, starting to look like a little scaler. Really makes the truck kinda start to come together or something a little bit, a little bit more. I mean, okay, so these are the rock sliders by CC Hand. They got a nice little spot for the body to clip into them right there. Nice. Ooh. Ooh wee. You guys are so fancy. Mmm, fancy, huh? <laughs> There's a little bit of flashing on the end of these you gotta clip off there. Just from where it's printed. These are definitely a shape waste part that it looks like he's painted. So they're printed in black and then I think he's painted them or something. Give them a little little, little, little squirt squirt. So look, four holes, four holes. Beautiful. The screws countersink in so actually don't get caught. It's really nice, really nice stuff. 
anybody knows, we all fans of nice stuff in this hobby. Yes, Kyle, I understand it's 3D printed and you're probably gonna break it, but that's not what it's about, Kyle. God, no joking. Dang, Kyle. Dang, Kyle. I know it's gonna be the first comment. Isn't that 3D printing? It's gonna break on things, bro, guy? Hmm? What's up? What's up, bro, man? Bonus? Prometheus? That should be made out of steel. <laughs> and then it wouldn't break. I could weld that for you, bro. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Could you? Total, bro. Tag life, I mean, take life, bro. <laughs> I can weld that, I'll galvanize for you. <laughs> I just thought about that for you. What? <laughs> there you go. A couple nice little spiky dudes sticking through the deck there. Cut your fingers on. Nobody yeah. cares. Nobody cares. It won't kill you, though. Nah. Nah. And then what's up after that? Wheel hexes. Oh, yeah, sorry. Wheel hexes and uh, wheel weights. Sorry. I get carried away. I didn't want to cut myself, so stop talking. Go cut yourself. <laughs> These, very simply, fit into the back of the wheels. Now you can do just two in the front, but because we have the brass knuckles, we're gonna do them in all four corners. So we're still adding more weight to the front. We're keeping a nice balance. You can do all the weight in the front, but when you turn to go down a hill, you are gonna flip over if you stop for the slightest reason. I think I was just up here. Don't fun. stop. <laughs> Lieben. <laughs> and last but not least, Wheel hexes. Oh, they give you new pins. Cool. We could have just nice. lost all the other ones. Sweet. Why would we do that? <laughs> So the tires are catching right on these steps just a little bit, so we're gonna bust out uh, Leroy. I mean, we're clear. <laughs> and boom, look at that sweet little rig. Ooh, bam, sweet. bam, boom, jing, boom. There we go, good looking little unit. Let's uh, disconnect that camera and go jump it on the uh, course.
Now we get everybody three-wheeling. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the build on this uh, Axial SCX24 Chevy C10. Uh, very nice truck. The wheels and tires really add to the look on it instead of just the normal black. That looks really good. Um, the basic simple performance mods we did to this one were the hot racing. The CC hand mods we did to this truck were for aesthetic value. Concourse, you know, aesthetic, you know, looking more scale. Just like this truck has its roof rack and stuff from CC hand. Now this guy's got his underbelly and his rock sliders. Not much to add to it, but you know, it does look good when you pick it up and you're looking at it. It, it looks more complete, so. Very happy with that truck. We did the double headlight mod on the truck. I'm sure we blinded you a thousand times by now in the camera with that, so. Um, yeah, it's the uh, end of the crawling season for most parts of the northern U.S. and Canada and other places. Uh, so if you're looking for a winter vehicle, uh, as you can just set up on a, a couple of rocks to steal out of your garden and put it in your corner of your bedroom or a couple of books or run around on the coffee table and piss your wife off. Grab yourself an FCX24 from Axial. They're a fantastic truck. Uh, we basically fully upgraded this truck. Uh, with we still gonna do the servo. That's another time. We'll come back and do that, but 200 bucks we've we went two ways on it We added scale detail to it and we added performance. So we're happy with it in both aspects um, You know this truck about 225 bucks a little bit more But uh, pretty much the same treatment. This guy's got all the same parts in them Yeah, all the same parts in this truck is that truck right now. So these guys will contend with each other really well they still might not both keep up to our deadbolts our deadbolts got a lot more into them at this point but uh these guys are a lot more kind of the trail machine so if you're thinking about picking up a truck for the winter grab yourself one of the scx 24s there's a lot of other trucks in the market these are the best the other ones are okay there's nothing wrong with them but uh from somebody that crawls full size and micro a lot I've owned all the other micros. There's, I have five of these now, so we're gonna keep that going, can keep getting more of them. They're fantastic. Uh, you've seen our crawl the course in the video. Uh, it's back in other videos with these trucks in it. Uh, we're just redoing it right now for the year. So you guys will see more footage of these guys coming up and more mods and more builds. Uh, we have another Micro Shark FJ build coming up this winter. And uh, We're gonna be doing something with this little guy. If you kinda smell what we're stepping in there, so. <coughs> Bought this off of eBay about seven, eight years ago before these guys existed and just waited for the right moment. So. <laughs> so that'll be another build coming up. Stay tuned, micro season is here. I know a lot of people like the micro seasons, there's not a lot of channels that provide it, so we'll be providing a ton of micro stuff. Stay tuned. Hit the like, subscribe button, all that good stuff. We'll catch you on the next one.